return to the crazy Monday pullout. There's a story in there by Scoffin Otieno. I don't know how you thought of this because I'd have never thought of it in a million years, but it's so, so true. It's called Women Who Dump Their Children on Grandparents to Raise Them. Contrary to popular belief, apparently, according to Scoffin Otieno, there are strange women who have no motherly or parenting intuition mm. so much that they burden their aging mothers with the bother of raising their children. Wow. Wow. The key phrase there for me was who have no motherly or parenting intuition. If your child or children are with your mother, why aren't they with you, girls? Don't you miss them? Or is it circumstances? It could be circumstances. Why aren't your kids with you, girls? Why are they with mom? That's a very good topic, Kumelete Leo. Leo, ata ni kustandika mukeka manake. There's something you're not asking, eh? Uh. Our semagi, those kids are there. Well, listen, why don't they say, wakona watoto, huko kwa mama yao? Now, watoto wanatavia mpaya sana. Kwa some of the... Iyo ni that topic to zingile. But ask them kwa nini mwakikutani na jama, especially potential one. Awasemi wakona mutoto huko kwa nyanyao Mutoto wakona nyanyao You introduce kama mutoto wa sister wa sister wa sister aki And that's their, that's their daughter That's their son mm. Ako haba Nairobi peke yake The kid grows mpaka standard 8 ya memaliza Uo na hitu wanko No 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 I think it's very important to say mkweli leo so many fellows are in shock unakuja kuambiwa ati alikuwa na mtoto shock and a rose indication 0711 is my number I ask them why they hide those children nani wow wengine walipatikana akiwa standard 8 wengine from 4 wengine university and they don't want to talk about that story no we need to discuss why is it so difficult na mtoto ni wako Maybe circumstances. What circumstances? That's your child. That's your child. Maybe they'd be better off with mom. No, you need to ask men how many were shocked to find kuna mutoto mwingine hapa ambaye ni wake. 0711046105 oh, is my number. Give me a call. Oh, it's a very shocking thing. Send me that text message to 22494. Hmm? Or hit me up on my fan page on Facebook or Twitter handle at It's My Neck Again or yeah. at Classic 105 Kenya hashtag Mine Enke Ngangi. Hmm. There must be some reason, Mualimu. They, they let them tell us. Let them tell us. It's their child. Ata kama baba yao ligongo wana lori ya mchanga mulolongo. Tell it's your child. Okay, let's talk about that. Because girls. now that is hiding. Why do they hide them? That's hiding. This How is hiding them? That's hiding. That's hiding them. That's how I did them. Are you in that kind of a scenario? Hmm? What's your story? What could the reason? Because I believe there must be hmm. a logical reason, something that makes sense. And she's doing okay up in Nairobi. Peke yake. Peke yake. We're talking about a story that's made the crazy money pull out of the standard this morning. Women who dump their children on grandparents to raise them. Skofi Notino, you've done an amazing article. Contrary to popular belief, they say there are strange women who have no motherly or parenting intuition so much that they burden their aging mothers with the bother of raising their kids. My question is, why aren't your kids with you, girls? Molim was saying, where do you hide them from your men? What's your story? To me, there must be a logical reason why your kids are with mom. What is that reason? Let me just go to your tweets. Joseph Otaki is saying, Kenya ina sema ukweli ubaya ni saa zile umemuona alafu baba ya huyo mtoto anatokelezea. Akiyo. Calvin Queens is saying there is no circumstance that will prompt you to hide your child. It just doesn't add up. At it's mine kigeni or at classic 105 Kenya hashtag mine and kingangi. What, what's your story? I'd love to hear from you. Continue the morning conversation. Women who dump their children on their grandparents to raise them. What a story by Scoffi Notieno. Why aren't your kids with you? That's a question I'm asking this morning. 
Let me just go to your SMSs. Maina Kodi, who is of value? Your child or your boyfriend that you hide and dump kids everywhere? Morning, man. I know you hear men judging women who leave their children. Well, in most uh, cases, that man's scampered for dear life first. Wow. Maina Mia was dumped at my grandma's for 15 years to an extent. I used to call my grandparents, dad and mom. Now I'm 25 years. Came to realize she had a kid. She had a kid. If, if she had a kid, the likelihood of her getting married would have been low. Wow. Morning, man. I think it's a responsibility of the highest order on the part of such girls to leave the kids without motherly care and burden their parents with the responsibility. I always say kids must be brought up by parents, both or at least one. The parents have already done their job of bringing you up, so it's up to you to bring up yours. It's insensitive and unfair to both the parents and the kids. Wow. Let me just go to your tweets. And Mikhail Ruth, you're saying, I can, I can never hide my own blood and flesh. Patrick Mandy, you're saying they are good in acting movies. I'm being told by, by uh, Patrick, men should be careful. You're in love with a single chick. Kumbe ni mama ya mtu. At It's My Neck Again or at Classic 105 Kenya. My question is, why? Why, oh, why, oh, why? Morning. How are you? I'm fine. Yeah, it is true, Marina. What happened? I was raised by my grandmother. Yeah. My mother left me when I was very young. How young? I was about three months. Three months? Yes, I was three months. Uh huh. Yeah, so what she, what she did, uh. she got married elsewhere. Yeah. Yeah, so uh, every time I used to go there when I was, I had grown a bit. Yeah. He used to introduce me to the husband as uh, their brother, the younger brother. Her younger brother? Yes, her younger brother. Uh huh. Yeah, so I grew knowing that she was my sister. You you grew up knowing she was your sister? Yeah, I grew up knowing that she was my sister. Uh huh. And so I was about. Uh, in class seven, eh? when now I discovered she was my mom, eh? and at that time, eh? the husband is also he also discovered that uh, I was the son to her. Yeah, yeah. So she was divorced, mm -hmm. and I also learned to hate her. I hated her very much. Yeah, because when I went there, I was treated as a brother, not as a child. Yeah. Yeah, until today, yes, uh, I don't go down successfully. Uh. But I've learned to hate her. I hate her so much. When was the last time you saw her? The last time I saw her? Mm. Okay, I, I, I usually see her, but we rarely communicate. She's going about her duties. Mm. I also go about my duties. We rarely meet. Wow. Yeah. And now that you are successful, do you help her as your mother? She even find it very difficult to ask me for any help. Now we always go on a roya kumsaidia. I find it very hard uh, because it's like I like I like that mother in love. Yeah. So so I find it very hard. You thought she was your sister? Yeah, because she was my sister, and only to discover that she was my real mother. You felt like she abandoned you? Yeah, I felt like I was neglected. I was, she never loved me. As a mother will love her child. You'll be proud to tell people this is my child. Yeah. You see, when you learn in the future that uh, she, she was not proud of you, you will not also be proud of her as your mother. Okay. Yeah. Oh, my thanks for sharing that story with me. And I hope one day you can find it within yeah. yourself to just forgive her and let it go. Yes, I'm trying very hard. But it's very difficult to comprehend what she did to me. I think it'll take some time. So let it, let it play its course, okay? Yes. Okay, thank you. Mm. Okay, thank you. Guy. Nia Maundumaya. Okay, keep calling. <laughs> what? As we continue our morning conversations, Kofin Otieno. Wow, how do you think of it? Women who dump their children on grandparents to raise them. 
Why aren't your kids with you, girls? We just go to your tweets. Ken Siki Protich saying it's exactly what I condemned on Mother's Day. You actually have a screenshot of what you posted on Mother's Day. He says that I quote, Huwezi kuu mewacha watoto ushago, who provide, hujui beya pampas amangu ya watoi, ume overload tu wazazi bure, na ukue wakonza kusema, oh, happy Mother's Day to me. Proudly a mother. No. Happy Mother's Day to all responsible mothers out there. We love you and cherish you all. Feel appreciated. It's your day and have a blast. Well, that's so, so true. I'm being told, let me just go back to your tweets once again. Ladies cheat, they don't have to, uh, children to protect their identity. Wow. Paul Koech got your tweet saying, those who dump their kids and their parents are more likely to dump you. LD, we are locked. Thank you so much, my brother. Kevin Omond, you're saying, I don't see any problem with a child staying with her grandmother. What is important is that the mother should be supportive. Really? Kevin? Loyundi Anyanda, you're saying it's the height of mediocrity to hide a child. Children are the best. Keep those tweets coming in at It's Mine Kegeni or at Classic 105 Kenya hashtag Mine and Kengangi. Let me just go to your SMSs. Mine, I ask again, find the mother left. Why didn't the father come to the child rescue? Where was he? Must you say in many of it was a teenage pregnancy, then that's understandable. However, the child should know the mother and she should take responsibility once she's able. That's true. My short code is double two four nine four. Talk to me. Hello, Marina. How are you? Good morning. Good morning. Yes. This is your number one fan from Cuba. Asante Sana. Yeah. Just to contribute on your topic. Please do. Mina, desperate situations lead us to such things. Yeah. Just like me, for example. Uh -huh. I've been th with this man for the past 10 years. Yeah. With two children, boy and girl. Yeah. But the extent, mm. this man never values me as a woman. Uh. He, he insults me all the time uh. whenever he finds a chance to do so. Uh. As we're speaking right now, uh, I'm packing to my house, my parents' place. You're packing your things to leave his house? Yeah. Uh -huh. Everything I do, he never values it. Yeah. For heaven's sake, I found this man is nothing. Right now, we are blessed. We have some matatus on the road. Four. But he, all the time, he complains I'm object of poverty in his life. Wow. I composed my own song to write, but I just asked him for a little money to do the recording. He went, Mom, right now for two months you are not talking to each other. Wow. Just because I asked for money. So, if it's only that my mom is ailing and I can't leave the children with her, mm. but if I chance was given that she was somehow healthy, mm. Sincerely speaking, I could have made the season with her and come to hustle in the city. Okay. Yeah. So you want to go back to your parents? That's the only thing, Mr. Kinyanyi. What else can I do? Now, umwachezo matatuzote mulinunua pamoja? What else can I do? Even if I stay here, the man can't understand me. We can go even for months without even talking to each other without him even noticing i'm beside him in the bed hey. what else can i do i've been through this for a long and i seriously think i need a psychologist because this is going out of hand okay i'll tell you what yeah i can help you with that request yeah okay okay thank you Wow. Hi. Niki, 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 we, 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 we. Oh, you have a Nanzaka story, Moja. Ingine na kuja hapa. Sasa. Tutashika gani, tuwache gani. Continue the morning conversation. Women who dump their children on their parents to raise them. Oh, we're getting quite emotional this morning. And Moja is saying, Maina, please just stop. Some of these girls have been raped and are living in pain and shame of giving birth to those children. You've got no idea what they're going through and that's how they end up at the grandparents' place. Wow. Wow. That's deep. That's true. You've got a point there, I must say.
Wangari is saying, what about maids who have to work in towns? They've got no choice but to leave their kids, but send money for their upkeep and be responsible for them. Totally agree. Makes sense. My short code is double two four nine four. Let me just go to your tweets. Carving Queens is saying some mother stays long as a year without even visiting the child or even providing. Alex Omari, got your tweet as well. Ashamed of your own flesh and blood? Those people have got low hearts. Okwanyi George, you're saying some want to stay in the market. Others, it's a mistake. Bob Mutai got your tweet as well saying uh, some ladies are never proud of being called a mother. They want to be sweet 16 and they're in their 40s. Wow. Keep those tweets coming in at it's my neck again or at classic 105 Kenya hashtag my name Kingani. Hello. Minor. Hello. Good morning. Well, I'm, I'm, I'm right first to divert to, to, to that story of that woman who just spoke. Huh? Yeah. Yeah. But that, that husband of ours. Yeah. I think he should be he, he should be shot. <laughs> eh. He should be shot on one leg. Eh. Akai kwa nyumba. Eh. There is a man who is being misjust. Yeah. And I'm a man too and I can't do that. Okay. Yeah, no, it's for the, 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 the initial topic. Uh-huh. Yeah, I was trying to tell you that uh, sometimes yeah. we tend to condemn every other person. Yeah. And now we are condemning women that some of them, that, that women, we are saying women tend to leave their kids with their, with their mothers. Yeah. And I'll tell you, it's not every other woman who does that willingly. Yeah. Although the problem now comes in when they don't tell their kids, or rather the, 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 uh, the uh, spouses that have a kid. But you know, my mother lives with, two, with three kids. Yeah. From my sisters. Yeah. But I'm the one who insisted on them staying there. Why? Because because mm. these kids, if they go with their mothers, and their mothers are not so, they are, they are not doing so well. Yeah. And one kid who is a, a nine-year-old son, yeah. is like a, a 23-year-old male who can even beat her mother, his mother, sorry. Why? If he becomes a chokora, who will be blamed? Okay. It's the, it's the grandmother and the uncle who is the, the father figure in that house. So I encouraged my mother to take the kids and stay with them. And I said, my mother says, I'm glad they came. She was a on and I stressed. You are not yeah. But I'm glad that for the, the spouses, I have never told them that we don't have kids. No, no, I have a kid. Now I could the money, they accept that kid. Thank you, Wayne. Thank you very much. Okay. Does he raise a point there? I think he does. Hello, Classic 105. Hello. Hello, good morning. Maina? Yes, good morning. Senator Mansha. Morning, Senator Bariako. Let me tell you a few stories. Yeah. There's a Kuna Jamal Nikon with a Neri. Eh. Rorashio. Yeah. Uh, yeah. 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 So, to Yeah. Yeah. 
mpaka wazee walishtuka kwa they thought huu msena tali amekuwa likuwa umetuambia hakuna mtoto nyumbani ee ha so now hizi zile mbuzi walikuwa umetisha mia tulitoa kumi mzee kijana alisema tu ni sawa kama ni wake ni sawa mimi nitakubali lakini tauri lazima ishuke chini kabisa yeah so mbuzi tukakata na 90 ikakuja kumi uji ya tuka hatu hata tu kupeleka uji ngombe ikakuja tano eh kwa she didn't tell you hata hako wamemwambia the guy was shocked lakini she didn't love the chick tukamwambia kama unapena umisichana hata yu mziko chukua tu tuseme tu ni wako eh ok ya supposed to you supposed to be honest eh uneza shangaa sana ukienda kwa msichana upate watoto watatu huko eh it doesn't help wada wa umusidangaji na tikusema ati mtoto ukisoposema ati kuna mtoto hauta pata mwana hauta pata if he loves you hata hata kupenda tu lakini ya pata danganya ha ok yeah thank you thank you very much wow